Okay. Okay. I don't know, how, how do we even come up with the idea? In my point of view, Andreas told me he wanted to go on a, let's say, a sports, sports trip with um, a friend of his. <laughs> and he told me, yeah, you can come along. It would be great. Maybe maybe others are coming too. It's 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 something a bit extreme, but it's not not something too too crazy. So he's telling me there's this march, uh, 100 kilometers. But no worries, no worries. We have time. We have one day. So 24 hours. Is, it's basically no problem. And then I was like, okay, I I did my February challenge and. It was manageable to to jog for about a few kilometers. So 10 kilometers was, was okay and then I was like, okay, maybe if I just 10x this, it, it, will, be, it will be fine. Yeah. And that's when I told him I will be coming along. And at the end we were just us. And there we were, only Dominic and me. And Dominic was really excited. And he had absolutely no idea what 100 kilometers are because yeah. I remember the thing he told me when we first met, I think the day before, we met at Ali, you remember? Mm -hmm. We stayed over at a friend's uh, house and he told me that last night before the challenge, he actually was out partying. Yeah, yeah okay. So the thing was a kind of trying to keep myself in and not drink too much. But I drank a bit. I don't know how much did you drink. Yeah, I, 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 I think you went a, bit. a little bit overboard. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so the thing is, I, I didn't. And also, just imagine, it's not, it's, it's not just a drinking. You also missed a lot of sleep. Yeah. Like. And uh, with the with the driving and so. On. But yeah, I, I thought it it would be no problem because it was just a couple couple of drinks and uh, I had a bit time for my for my body to, to recover but oh um, yeah and the race started we started walking and there were a lot of people you yeah, remember yeah, yeah there was like at the beginning there were like I don't know, hundreds of people yeah. just starting to walk I don't know what shoes did you wear I, I wore my my worn out shoes but I had I was like okay I'm, I'm not stupid I'm going to to a store and uh, I bought these uh, slips. <laughs> I remember we have like so much footage <laughs> with you changing yeah. them. Like no, that, that's not good. I just have to remove one or maybe add two. Yeah, yeah. And like most of the time we're we're taking a break and you were changing the, the thing. Yeah, so don't do that. Just just buy new boots and boots that are appropriate for the for the length you're you're walking. Okay, and the thing is, uh, you like walk around, I don't know, I think every 20 kilometers there's like one, mm -hmm. one spot where you have a pit stop, you get some food, you can get some drinks, you can get a lot of uh, caloric needs fulfilled, like you have all these uh, sandwiches with Nutella and banana mm -hmm. and uh, delicious stuff. The sweets also. It does sound nice. have done 22.6 kilometers by now and we still got some left how are you feeling Dom? turn off everything is fine we'll see you later yeah so let's see what the road has laid for us yeah. And 
let's just say the first 50 kilometers were okay easy yeah because you you're just you're just walking you're having a good time i remember we were listening to david goggins mm -hmm. and we we're so, we're just having a great time yeah discussing you were, you were stuff. also in a group so you had people all around you you had you had a great time changing all the time but uh, we, we stayed together and yeah so the first I, I would say 45 kilometers was no big deal and then um, it was getting darker and darker and night came and that's when the, the fun started for me I think 45 and then 60 kilometers at our stop in, in the night okay so that, that's the point where you're like yeah, yeah. Because I remember it being hard even before that. Okay. But there was there was a breaking point. So imagine we walked an entire day, and uh, Nana called us, and mm. she was like, "Okay, I'm I'm going to sleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> have, have fun." And we were like, "Okay, okay, sleep well. We're just walking through a forest." Yeah, sure. sure. And uh, yeah, she she went to sleep and. At some point, it just became very dark, and uh, it was hard. So that's that's like when people started getting a little bit weird, like you were people uh, singing stuff. <laughs> or I don't know, just being different. And there was this this big break, like there were these little pit stops, and there was these bigger pit stops, and there was a really big one at around. I don't know, 12 in the night or I don't remember, where you had like soup and the, the food was very delicious. There was also the first stop where Hello. we um, took our shoes off just to let our feet relax a little, which I don't know if it was a good idea after all, because starting from there, it really became just, just a haze. We, we ate well and then we when we started walking again, the feet just fell <laughs> destroyed. Yeah. So like, it's also if if your body is warm, I think it's it's no problem because the body is in, in constant movement and everything is like okay, it hurts here and there, but we we are doing this since a few hours, so it will be no problem. But if your if your body cools down and then you start moving again, wow. It's hell. <laughs> you can see. Final Tumbe. Thousand Tumbe. Thank you, Tumbe. It's langsam müde, aber die Müdigkeit ist weggegangen nach den Schmerzen. Also gute, gute Energy Drink. Und jetzt fun. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not fun. It's just, I remember, I remember him like walking in this very weird way. Yeah. When nobody was, was around us, and then when somebody was around us, he forced himself to, to, <laughs> to walk a little normally. bit more normally because he was just like, they, they're not allowed to see me, how yeah. I suffer this he, badly. He told me I'm, I'm walking like quasi motors. Yeah, but he was like, his, his legs were like this, and he was just stepping forward, and he was like, if I walk like this, I don't feel any pain. <laughs> cloud in my in my vision i remember there was there was like water left and right mm -hmm. and we were walking on a path oh yeah yeah and it was just so dreamlike it was like I, the best thing i remember are the stones i stepped on because i tried stepping on a, on bigger stones so you don't feel the pain by stepping between two stones <laughs> just so weird and that I was listening to my audiobook and it just became a, I don't know, a dream. It was yeah. just pain, pain, pain. And it was night and everyone was just silent. Nobody was saying a thing. You just keep passing people or 
Yeah, I think we, we pass people. Yeah, I know when it's so. passing us. Yeah, at the start, yes. So, in the night it was also... I think we were then in a group of, of five or six people and we, we kept going for kilometers on kilometers with the, with the same group um, at one time in the night. But we... Did we even talk to them? No, no, but that's, <laughs> that's not the point of this whole race. It's just, you're suffering together. Yeah, you just you don't really need to talk to people. You don't talk, it's crazy. <laughs> you just walk with the same people for like hours on end and you just just don't even change a glance because everyone is just in his little hell. That was the first time where I was like, okay, till here and, and I don't really want to go, go further. The, before that, I, I was always thinking like, okay, I can still do this. There, there's a way to, to suffer through this hell. And then uh, when, when the sun came out, I was like, yeah, may, maybe it, it's time to just to just go home and, and, and quit. Oh man, it's so intense. Yeah, so it, it was getting uh, worse and worse. And then uh, maybe you want to talk about the experience <laughs> next. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, so usually in the morning when um, I wake up, some of the first things I do is I go on the, on the toilet. And yeah, the sun was <laughs> rising. <laughs> My instincts were kicking in and yeah, I just needed to go on the toilet and uh, do a rather big job there. It is around 7 o'clock in the morning and it's pretty hard. We still have a lot left. Let's hope for the best. And luckily for me, I found the toilets. Yeah. And it was in the morning and I was just uh, casually going to the toilet. But the problem started when I had to sit down or just like <laughs> undress, at least at least pull my pants down to, <laughs> to be able to do what you have to do on the toilet. And I just couldn't do it. I had a backpack and I couldn't take it off. Like my hands were this stiff. My muscles all over my body were that stiff. I just, I just couldn't do it. I just tried using my hand to like pull the strap off a little. Impossible. I've never felt something like that ever. Yeah. I just couldn't move my hand from here to this spot. Or I just couldn't put my pants down really. I just had to halfway through like just just barely enough to be able to sit on the toilet and once once I sat down I was like this I I managed to get this far and from here I just fell I fell on the toilet and I had no idea if I could ever get up from there <laughs> okay and I <clears throat> yeah I, so also maybe a little bit of information uh, before the, the story continues so I, the, the, the toilets uh, were right at the start of a, a steep uphill and we knew that at the, at the top, maybe, there would be a checkpoint, the 80, 80 kilometer checkpoint. And I was like, okay, you can go, but it would be way better if we, if we are just walking there because I will cool down and then it will be hell for, for you and me. But okay, you go. I had to, I had to. Uh, he, he went. And then I was I was sitting there and I was like, okay, maybe maybe there's some some good in this. And I tried to just look around and, and hear the birds and everything, but because you're you're basically just dying inside and outside. And um, yeah, I just I just saw others like old old, old people going in the toilet, coming out, going in the toilet, coming out. And then um, one one guy came to me. I was sitting on the bench. No, I was not sitting on the bench because my everything hurt. I, I was laying on the ground. <laughs> then he was like, yeah, are you okay? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting for somebody. And he was like, okay, because I, I saw you uh, laying there since, I don't know, back, back there. So it, it, it took him, I, I don't know, eight minutes to, to come to me and I was still waiting <laughs> for Andreas. And I lost was, sense of time. Yeah, it, it was crazy. And he was like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm also waiting for my friend. Maybe he'll come out when my friend come out, comes out. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And also his, his friend comes out and they're, they're like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll see each other. And I was like, okay, okay. 
that was the point where I was like, okay, maybe he just fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just remember sitting there like this. And then trying to like go on, but I don't know how long I just stayed in that position to, <laughs> to just focus and, and do the thing. And uh, yeah, so when it was time to, to stand up, there was quite a lot of problems in the area of the wiping. <laughs> because imagine me being unable to pull the straps off from, from my backpack to wipe my butt clean. Just impossible to reach, I swear. <laughs> so I did my best. I really, I really tried. But it just wasn't that good. Perfect. But anyway. I managed to get up somehow, pull my underpants like halfway back up, just so nothing, nothing hangs out. And I remember opening the door from the toilet and the only standing in front of the door with this dead eye stare. I was looking for him, I was like... Did he did he go on without me? And I missed. He was it. just he was just standing there like that, like, I don't know half a meter in front of the in front of the, the door of the toilet. He was. <laughs> they opened the door. And he was like, <laughs> oh, you ready? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. And so we started climbing the hill. Yeah. And that was that was a hard hill. I mean, mostly for you. And that, yeah, so I, I, I couldn't really walk at this point. And somehow we, we tried to, to go to the checkpoint. And Andreas also went through these shortcuts because it was going uphill and you could just, just uh, go, straight. go straight up the hill. It was like, yeah, no problem, yeah, here's, here's fine. And he's, he's going the, the shortcut. And I'm looking at, at, his, at his eyes. At him, and I'm like, no, 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 I can't. And then I was like, uh, basically an old, old grandpa walking. So I, I hadn't really any strength left. I couldn't really go over like this steep of a climb. That was my max. And it was it was a hard hill. I mean. I saw people crying on the climb. Yeah, okay. Like there were people literally walking and crying. Like, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. Because we saw people giving up. I mean, there were a lot of people who just sat down and were like, I, I won't move anymore because it's just it's too, too crazy. Mm. But on the, on the whole way, not, not just yeah. at that point. But that hill was especially hard. I mean, I saw a lot of people really suffering there. Mm. And... Uh, as he said, on top of the hill there really was this checkpoint, but that's a funny part of the story because once again you reach a checkpoint, you just say, like, oh yeah, a checkpoint, mm. and then you just sit down and I don't know, eat some stuff, and the whole process starts again with you cooling down. Mm. And then I remember there was like the worst part for you. Yeah. That was my, my game over, basically. There was it was really not not just but came over. I was like, okay, I knew there were um, like medical stuff also, uh, and every everything was there to if I if I couldn't really go any further, which I really couldn't. I was I was walking. I think I was eighty percent of my uh, body weight was on Andreas, or I just tried to try to walk on on my hands basically. Uh, it was it was it was really bad. I yeah. remember you being like, I can't do this. I just he was just standing. Yeah, I, I told him I think and thirty times. Trying to do the next step, really he was really fighting yeah. to do the next step, and he just it just wasn't possible. He just did these tiny little steps, like ah, it was so hard for him. He was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't walk anymore, and everything hurt. Yeah, way. like. My reaction was, was, was not that good. Maybe. I just started laughing. I mean, I was so I was so done also with my psyche, and it was just saying there that I can't move. And I, I was trying to think of ways of how I could help him to like overcome this, but I just couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. And I was really 
I was dying there from laughter. <laughs> it was really, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this. I that, that was really. And then I and then I tried to bring you these sticks. Yeah. These wooden sticks, so you could maybe maybe use them like uh, like walk walk with them. And I brought him this one stick of a very very weak wood, and uh, when he tried leaning on it, it just broke. <laughs> And then again, started almost dying out <laughs> out of laughter. Yeah, so that was that was a oh, man. that's a great part. I want to forget these few few steps. <laughs> oh my god, I just remembered something. Yeah, yeah, we were. It was like very slow. We just, I just got him into walking again. He was just moving, and he was get, starting to get warmer. And people were were passing us because. Obviously, we were very slow. We were very slow. It was like foot on like, foot. Like, like, like but, you can even imagine, like yeah. a toddler walking backwards, maybe. Yeah. And uh, they were passing us, and the people were like looking at him, and th in their eyes, I could see that they they thought you were you were handicapped, <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, "Wow, you're really doing a super great job, man! You got, you got this." Nice. Nice. And people were like, "So." so good to him and really and really appreciating his effort it was like uh -huh. very supportive and nice of them but that, that's the funny stuff because i think they thought you like you like had problems because the way you walk you were like not looking yeah. normal at all yeah. like for for me i thought they were just nice to me and they were like okay uh we, we're also having a, a bad time but me but he he's at least trying to to move yeah. and then, then i was like okay yeah with that uh, support in my mind, I was I was trying to go step by step, and with the it it was a just the hard thing was the uh, warming of the um, of the body again. Yeah, to just keep keep moving and okay. go into the go into your flow. Yeah, but then after that, it wasn't really uh, easy at all. So that was really the. That point at 80 kilometers, I really thought that I, I couldn't go on because I couldn't move, basically. I really couldn't. And but you did go on. Yeah, but I did go on. You overcame the situation and yeah. you continued. The mindset was to, to finish the, the race. It was Either really, at that, at that point it was really tough. And because imagine all the hours, it's also physically challenging, but at some point it gets really mental mm. like it just walked and walked and walked and morning came and Nana called us again and she just woke up <laughs> so she was like ah good morning mm. and she just slept for around eight hours in which we just walked yeah so we walked an entire day and then walked an entire night during during which other people normally sleep and then when morning came, we were still walking and we still had kilometers to do, yeah. like it wasn't over. We, we still had, at six in the morning, we still had six hours left yeah. of walking. And it just gets to you how slow you advance during walking. Like imagine, you have five kilometers to walk, it's one hour. You have 20 kilometers to walk. It's like nothing compared to 100, but it's still around four hours of walking. Yeah. And it's just so mentally exhausting to just keep keep going from there. I remember there was there was a point where I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't, uh, I'm not very proud of the moment. That's okay. Because uh, we were just walking, we were walking kind of slow, but he, he was walking at least again. And I was so, so furious. Because it just, I think it's it's just frustration. It's yes, also it's frustration. In the, your your uh, yeah. mind and your willpower decreases. It was also like I couldn't hear any podcast anymore. I couldn't hear music anymore. I was just, I was just making uh, scenes and and stuff up in my head to 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 work further and to emotionally deplete myself because there was no no way I I could still listen to music and somehow. Get a little bit of energy out of that song or something. I couldn't really hear anything. I had no no energy left to to do anything, but just to to focus on me and on my emotions maybe, and then just walk. And Andreas was was getting frustrated because I was a snail basically. 
I was really, really slow because everything hurt. And um, yeah, he then told me, or we, we discussed a bit on, I think, kilometer 90 to, to break up that he can, he can just walk and I, I can be alone and figure, figure it myself out and somehow do it. Because 10 kilometers for me was, I was struggling 10 kilometers in 25 minutes. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. Ten kilometers in twenty five minutes. Yeah, in uh, fifty two. Yeah, in fifty two. If I'm if I'm running, and then I was like, okay, yeah, it, it's one hour left in my in my basic run. So how how can I, how hard can it be, basically? And yeah, that was the point where we split up for the for the first and last time mm -hmm. on kilometer ninety. I think basically on on point ninety. And yeah, after that, uh, it wasn't really, really so so quick. That one hour. It was so slow. Yeah. I remember getting closer to the finish, and I just hoped after every corner there would be the finish line. I was just hoping, please let this be the last corner. I just don't want to walk anymore. And just kept going, corner after corner. Mm. <laughs> but at some point. I reached the finish line. And I just lay on the ground. I don't even know if I if I felt great. I don't remember exactly. I just know I wanted to stop walking and just lay down, take off my shoes, just I think I, I, I fall asleep on the grass. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. I the, fell asleep. The funny thing was also the, the finish line is in the city. And before that, we were basically uh, either outside of cities or walking through cities on in the night. Nobody really cared. But then it was morning. The people came out of their houses, and we were just zombies on the streets trying to yeah. trying to finish our race. Yeah. People were giving you the strange look, like, "What's up with this guy? Yeah. What are you doing?" It was it was so hard at the end. And I was also, like the, this last 10 kilometers, I think I took four hours or something, or, or four and a half hours. But you did it, you like had 24 hours to, to finish it. Yeah. And you managed to finish it in 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. but I think... It was close. 23, 40 something. Yeah, it was, it was very close. Something. So I it mean, was really close. I reached the finish line and basically fall, fall asleep on, on the grass, fell asleep yeah. on the grass. Then at some point he came, but I don't know exactly when. Yeah. How was how was how was it? It, to was, finish it? it was glorious. So yeah, you're you're coming this. Uh, I think it was a uh, bicycle lane, basically to the finish line, and there were people left and right. Thank you. Some somewhere just also in the race, and everyone was passing me because there was still a snake. And uh, everyone was passing me. By the way, everyone. The, the guys I was I was passing at at sixty kilometers or, or something. They were they were just walking beside me and passing. And I, I was like, God damn it! Bro. But I couldn't really. I couldn't walk faster. I tried. I couldn't. I just. It was the last corner. I saw the finish line. I was like, okay, if I'm if I'm walking faster than this, which I can't. Nothing would change. I still have some minutes left, and then I was just. They saw me kilometers away, and I think I was taking 15 minutes to to get over the finish line, basically. So they were cheering, and I was still, <laughs> I was still like 10 meters from the finish line, and I was, I was cheering and cheering and cheering, and I, I took like one minute to cross it. <laughs> Just enjoying the moment. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> it was glorious. It was perfect. And then Nana was was awake and she was like, "Yeah, we did it." And basically, I just collapsed right next to Andreas. I saw him, uh, yeah, sleeping basically. And that was that was the the end. You also sent me a picture or, or a video from the next day where you like were moving through the house on your chair. Yeah. Office chair, yeah. With with roads, I was. That was my way of transportation, basically. <laughs> and I was. It, it, the best thing was, uh, I think we didn't sleep for thirty-two hours or something. They dropped me off by the train station, 
uh, yeah, I was I was going inside of the train. There was, I think, one one girl um, right before me and the guy. And I was looking outside of the window. The next thing I know, I was looking between my my legs. <laughs> so I fell asleep from here, dropped all the way down with the with my shoulders on my knees, and my my head was on the ground. The mobility, yeah, it was crazy. And then I didn't wake up. It's crazy. So I think at the at the end station, um, the girl on on the on the far right, she she was like, hey. Amen. Like imagine, imagine this guy after 24 hours of walking, <laughs> he just he just thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Bro, we were he animals. Just think like an like an animal. Jesus Christ! You can't imagine, really. It was you 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 were sweating the whole way, yeah. and it was just this really toxic sweating where you're just ultra tired and you just ate a shitload of crap. Yeah. <laughs> It was just like this, oh man, I can't imagine. And, and before he went into the train, I just told him, man, you're going to fall asleep. And he was like, no, no, I'm fine. I won't fall asleep. <laughs> Next thing he knows, bam, he's done for it. Yeah. So then also, I don't really know how uh, how I got home, but first thing I did was I hope I, I showered. <laughs> I hope I showered, then I went to bed, but... I think I, I slept for, for 12 hours or something. And then after that, I sent him the video of me crabbing through my apartment. Yeah. Oh man. What, uh, what did you learn from this experience? That's a good, great question. So I think uh, I learned that uh, it's possible to do stuff like that, even without too much, uh, too much training, which is not recommended. Please. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't. Um, and the second thing is that the most amount of energy lies in emotions, I think, because um, that really kept me going. Those Maybe. are the, the two, two things. Yeah. And to buy better goods next time. That's maybe important. Yeah, maybe. Will you do it again? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, so the, the thing, the first thing I said to uh, his wife beyond the finish line was, um, thank God you didn't do it. And the second thing was, uh, I won't do it ever again. So please, please don't ever think about it. Please don't contact me again. Please don't do anything. It's, it was crazy and hell. But I think, um, yeah, after, I think I don't really know of all the negative moments. Um, so uh, I forgot as a, as a human you just forget the, the big negatives and just keep in the positives and that's why I think now I sh would, would try to do it again with a bit more exercise at the, at the start and no alcohol one day before nice man what would you say? well the biggest thing I learned there are also two things one thing is uh, never underestimate how long a kilometer can be oh yeah okay because yeah. one kilometer can be very long it's like a, a plank hold just time passes differently this is where einstein was really right about the relativity of time because mm -hmm. one hour of walking when you're absolutely done feels not like one hour it feels like a lot like I don't want to exaggerate in saying like the whole day, but it feels like, like four subjectively hours. like an eternity. Yeah. Like you just want it to end and it doesn't end. Yeah. And also, if you don't do the next step, you're not advancing. As as stupid as it sounds, but if you don't keep on walking, if you take a break, you will never reach the finish line. <laughs> like that, that's just it. it there's nothing moving you if you're not moving man it sounds kind of deep <laughs> thinking about it well this and never never judge people by the way they look, they look yeah. because there were people in the morning like passing us which didn't look like they would do something like that ever they, they look like just normal human beings or just like maybe couch potatoes even, I'd say. 
not to be harsh or anything, just, I don't know. Mm. But they were, they were just better than us. They just yeah. passed us right. And you know, there, there was some guy, I think we were at kilometer 40 or something or, or 60, which was already at the, at the end goal. You know? The, the, the one that ran. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The ran this 100 kilometers. I mean, yeah, it's not really the point of the whole thing running it because it's a march. Yeah. But he did it. So, yeah, well, I guess well done to him. It's, it's very hard. I thought of maybe if I would do 100 kilometers again, I'd also try running them. Yeah, sure. Because it's uh, if you're not that bad, it's around half the time. But it's a whole, it's a whole different discipline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like maybe, maybe at some point. Maybe at some point. We'll try it, try it jogging or running it. Yeah. We saw, we saw so much in that in that one day. It was, it was crazy. So we saw all all types of of, of faces of. Yeah. So true. Of life also. There was a police chase, basically, a wedding. Oh, yeah, man. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Till yesterday about it. But there was like, we just passed one point where there was like the police interrogating someone, and uh, I think the the ones they were searching for were just running away, and we, so we saw that the police yeah. didn't. And they were kids, but yeah. And then at some other point, we just saw an entire wedding. Like we were passing by and there were just this bride and groom and they were just uh, welcoming their guests to, to the party and it was just surreal. Yeah. Like it, it felt like you're, you're walking through life, like, I don't know, a planeswalker or something. You're just observing different uh, sceneries of life and you're just... Uh, Never stopping also. A sentient being just, <laughs> just passing through it. Yeah. It was wow. really nice, really nice. So I recommend it, but yeah. it won't be easy. Also, definitely, you you get maybe to your to a point where you just have to confront some things inside yourself that are not easy to look at. And there's also certainly a type of uh, spiritual growth that you can achieve by by facing such a challenge, because. It, as I said, you get to a point where, where nothing really keeps you going. And that's, that's just the question. What do you do when you reach a point where nothing inside yourself is really cheering you on? Like, you can do it. It's just dead silence inside. What do you do? How do you react? What's your response to that? Yeah. It's cool. So, thank you very much. Thank you also. Yeah, it was a nice experience and uh, I hope we will get to do different things. In the future, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe write something in the comments, like, what should be our next thing? <laughs> Please, nothing to do with uh, walking 24 hours. Well, why not? Just, just be creative. Okay, just, let's go. Just anything, okay? And Antarctica. Oh, man. <laughs> that would be an experience. Oof, okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Thank you very much. See you next time.